Welcome back everybody to the Mario Kart 8 Retro Tracks Retrospective. This is going to be the final part, part 12, as we finish off with the final course out of all of the DLC courses. That's right, it is GBA's Ribbon Road. You know, initially when I finally got around to playing this game, you know, years after it came out, um, I remember Ribbon Road, I remember thinking of it as like some sort of knockoff of, uh, of Rainbow Road. I don't know, it's just, you know, the similar names. Ribbon Road, Rainbow Road, so, you know, it's just like, is this supposed to be like the, considered like the easy version of Rainbow Road in this game? I just, I don't know. I don't know where this track came from, but uh, it was definitely interesting. Uh, it's like birthday party land, I guess. You know, there's just presents everywhere, and uh, I would assume that this entire track you're racing on is supposed to be one very long ribbon. Uh, I don't know where they got a ribbon that long, but hey, you know, whatever, it's it's just a thing. Ooh. I do I though I love the I love all the dashes and the jumps in this in this track. But um, I don't know, once again, just like with um, Cheese Land, it just kinda of felt like I was just turning a lot. I don't know. That's just that it's just the vibe that I get from most of the GBA tracks. I don't know. It's, it's you know, now that I think about it, you know, okay, now now I think I understand. Maybe it's because there's not so many course obstacles. You know, like there's not so much stuff on the road that you have to avoid, and it's just like these are just like regular, like you know, the, all of the the road itself in the entire course is just spaced the exact same size. So, or the exact same width. So it's just like, I don't know, it's... There's no, like, parts to dash off to. I mean, I didn't see any shortcuts here. There probably is one that I missed or whatever, but... I don't know, it's just... It just felt like a lot of turning. It's just basically it. So, uh, yeah, just like that, quickly done with it. Once again, the GBA courses tracks... The GBA courses tracks... Yes, I, I know how to English good. Uh, are pretty short, surprisingly compared to the Mario Kart 8. The Mario Kart 8, not just any Mario Kart 8. Anyway, uh, so let's see. Uh, Ribbon Road is the second track in the Star Cup in Mario Kart Super Circuit. And now we move on to the Wii U remake, where it is the second course of the Bell Cup in Mario Kart 8's DLC Pack 2. So, they changed up the track from looking like, you know, birthday land to uh, some kid's bedroom. Which is, you know, I, I gotta say, though, <laughs> I love that little tweet that I did. Um, it, it looked good in, this, in Super Circuit, but when you compare that to what they did to it in Mario Kart 8, they went above and beyond what they probably could have remade this into. This looks absolutely phenomenal. This is, it's just, it, it looks awesome. So, I think the idea here is that this, this Ribbon Road is supposed to be like, a child's like toy set, you know, it's like a like a little like car racing track that, you know, some kid put together. And I don't know, it's just I, I love this. The the background is massive. It's just like, oh yeah, and then they also put the Yoshi Woolly World Yoshis uh, in there as a little cameo, I guess. Um, you know, you got like some Mario Kart 8 references, you got like a, a giant bitty buggy right there. Uh, I think there's even like a a box off to the left that I just passed. That's a one-seventh scale bitty buggy, and uh, I don't know. There's like some posters. There's a huge bed. Like they, they, they went so detailed with this track. It's awesome, and I love the music. Uh, you know, the, the the original one was pretty good, but I like what they did with this one. They went with like kind of like a cool surfer vibe. I thought that was neat, and it just it sounds good overall. And, uh, yeah, there's uh, just, oh my god, okay, I might as well read all these. Instead of trivia, there's Easter eggs on the uh, page for this in the Mario Wiki. It says, in the Mario Kart 8 version of the course contains several e Easter eggs, which can be seen in the background. Multiple large, large knitted Yoshis resembling their appearance in Yoshi Woolly World. These knitted Yoshis bear striking resemblance to the Yarn Yoshi series of the Amiibos. <clears throat> a theatrical poster of a fictional film starring Locky 2 called Kung Fu Locky 2 which is a reference to DreamWorks animated film Kung Fu Panda. Uh, a games box with a to Toad Toy Superstore logo on it, and which refers to the Superstore scene in Toad Harbor. Try saying that three times fast. Toad Toy Superstore. Toad Toy Superstore. 
Anyway, uh, a, b a board game called Yoshi's Dice Game has a board map similar to Yoshi's circuit track layout on the box. Mini toads from the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series appear at the beginning of the track. A blue wallpaper seen on the walls of the room the track is set in has a pattern of the Super Bell item reflecting the cup that the track is in. I love when they do stuff like that! A poster featuring the box art of the game itself. Cart toy kits can be seen for various Mario Kart 8 carts, like the Bitty Buggy. Uh, a Ribbon Road toy kit box with Baby Mario on the front that references the Mario Kart track sets from Kinex. Didn't I never saw those before. Um, there are also sized up versions of carts see seen in games such as the Standard Kart and the Bitty Buggy. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, okay. So, oh, okay, those were two different things that I mentioned before with the Bitty Buggy. And Toad's character icon artwork from Super Mario 3D World can be seen on two gift boxes. That's insane! They went with so much, like, in-reference and Easter eggs and just stuff that is just eye candy. They they did such an awesome job. And this, of course, this... And that was a really good choice, you know, for this one to round out all of the retro tracks in Mario Kart 8 and the DLC. But yeah, let's get to that fancy side-by-side -side now that we've seen a very in-depth look at the Mario Kart 8 version of this track. Here we go. And um, if, if anybody notices right off the bat, uh, what you're seeing on the left from the GBA is not what I actually recorded in the very beginning of this video. Uh, I did this as a separate recording. I just did a time trial where I was just driving around really slowly because I didn't want this to, you know, um, turn out to be like cheese land where, you know, I had to make a bunch of skips on the Mario Kart 8 version and then, you know, just like suddenly speed it up out of nowhere. Although I did it, I did it there, to be fair, uh, and that's because I was taking the shortcuts, you know, on the first lap. So uh, I decided to go with one of the laps that I didn't take the shortcut on. Of course, that had to be the lap, final lap that I randomly fell off, of course. And uh, yeah, and of course, there's no giant, um, you know, Bowser cart pop-up toys. But anyway, and then suddenly cut out to the third <laughs> third lap of the uh, GBA version. And there you go, there's your side-by-side. -side. The very last one. And uh, so, like I said, the very last one, that is it. That's it for this series. We're all done with all of the courses from all of the retro tracks in Mario Kart 8. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been one heck of a ride. And uh, once again, if there's any DLC in the future, uh, I will be sure to add on to this series, but uh, for now, that's completely it for it. So, if you like this video and this series, why don't you give it a like? Subscribe and check out some of my other videos, there's more on the way, so stay tuned. And, uh, so yeah, that's it. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. <sighs> See you all next time.